a lot of people now see sport as a uh, somewhere that they should invest, which is a good way of seeing things because that's how things should be long time. So hopefully this will be helpful for African sport. We are going to Washington DC for the US African leaders uh, summit. It's gonna be an opportunity, a big platform for African leaders and uh, uh, CEOs to connect and to find a potential partnership together. That is the thing. Yeah. That's the biggest problem that all African countries. Mm -hmm. So it's talent development first. Talent then development first. Yeah. The core of this business is the talent. Mm -hmm. It's not the event. Exactly. The event comes after. The event is a show that comes after, but the talent has to be. Yeah. When you look at all those companies without talent, mm -hmm. they will value them for billion and billion. Mm -hmm. But without the contract that they have with talent, mm -hmm. have nothing. they work for nothing. Yeah. Right. Now the biggest event going on in the world is a World Cup. Mm -hmm. It's a business. It's, it's set up as a business to make money. When you come in the United States, they will have food, uh, NBA, uh, NBA, um, um, every uh, sport, major sport league, and it's all to make money. This session is not even Uh, President Gagami uh, from Rwanda. Um, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> you can sit, yes, but we can't go. No, I love him particularly. Yeah, so of his, uh, there's, there's his vision there. for Africa, for his, city, for his country. And I like what he has he have done to Rwanda, though. Like, built in different future, you know, obviously. He built the best country for his people. They say that. Of all of these international institutions and others, to come and screen them and find a good way of taking them where they want to go. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. How are you? Good. Thank you. So if we, no. if we can get a contact for the assistant or something. Is that? Is that? Yeah. So we can send an invitation. So what we're trying to do, okay, yes, we'll do the business. We'll do tech. We'll do geopolitics. We'll do the thing I am most interested in is the business and culture and sports. Still the business. And so the Qatar Economic Forum is the most it's like the most moneyed um, forum that you'll go to. So it's like all of the biggest fund managers, sovereign wealth funds are all there. And so it's a really great place to be present and to also go there with like literal projects because you can go there and get deals done. There's like billions, hundreds of billions of dollars in that room. For the World Cup, I had like three invitations for Qatar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why didn't you go? It was too much. Yeah. Time and everything. Mm -hmm. I was focusing on my knee. Yeah. Basically, if I am potentially going to fight early next year, mm -hmm. it's like recovery and trip yeah. rather than go out there for two, three weeks. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 no,
owners away with the stuff this right side. They're just working. They have full clearance right now to Francis three. So every time you're gonna get this. Fall down. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, get this guy just get in. You want to step for one minute? You fall away. Cool, man. Yeah. I'm living in Washington. I came here for the African Leader Summit, who was great. I had to meet a lot of uh, people, a lot of leaders. Uh, from Africa that are very excited to do some some sort of stuff out there so I'm sure about it and um, it was cool it was pretty cool a lot of people now see sport as a uh, somewhere that they should invest which is a good way of seeing things because that's how things should be long time so hopefully this will be helpful for African sport I have to catch my fly now so see you guys soon